go to school in Nashville, Tennessee at Vanderbilt Law School. I go to law school at Stanford in California. Then went to Northwestern for law school, and I did my summer here after my second summer of law school. So right now I think they don't really know what's in store for them. I think met a lot of people and started doing some work, but it's so early in the summer that I think they're still trying to get a feel for the place and kind of getting their bearings you know, for what's going to go on the rest of the summer. Well, the first few days are spent orientation. It's pretty overwhelming. Um, you can meet a lot of new people in a very short amount of time. And you have a lot of new experiences. Um, being introduced to how to research for a firm, um, things that you do in law school, but it's slightly different because you actually have to charge somebody for it. Um, so you have to be a little bit more conscious about how you research and, and do work and how you get assignments. Um, that was a whole new process uh, of how your supervisor and your advisor can act as liaisons for you. Well, I'm already getting a lot out of it. and We're just two weeks in right now. Uh, we're getting a lot of experience at what it's like to be a lawyer. We're, we are juggling real projects. We're doing real work for real clients. Uh, and, and that's really what I wanted out of this summer. I didn't want to be given just a, one project here and one project there. Uh, we were kind of thrown into the fire, but we're also getting some great social events. Uh, we're getting to know all of our fellow uh, summer associates, as well as the associates and partners, and even the executives here at the firm. And it's, uh, everybody's been very welcoming, very helpful uh, in both the first few projects. I think a lot of firms our size and, and even larger, um, they really do wine and dine you and they make you have a false sense of security about what life's going to be like when you actually start practicing. I think Baker Nanos does a great uh, job of balancing the work life with the social life. I mean we have a lot of great social activities to try and get to meet uh, partners and associates outside of the office. The Euchre Party started years ago, like in 1993 or maybe 1994. And Euchre, for those of you not from Indiana, is just a, it's a card game um, that for whatever reason people who grew up here know all about. Um, and it's simply a vehicle for the summer associates to get a chance to meet new people. One of the best things I realized uh, when I started here then as an associate was that the summer program gave me a great idea of what it was to be an attorney. One of the assignments that I had as a summer associate, I had almost the exact same assignment in my first week or two um, as, an, uh, as a new associate. Um, so it was very reassuring to realize that the summer program had prepared me for what it was like to be an actual attorney. It's, it's really difficult to say what I want to do after one year of law school. Um, but I, I have a feeling, especially the way the summer program is set up, that by the end of the summer I'll have at least narrowed it down, which is really great because I know that there are some of my friends who you know, aren't doing legal work this summer and I, I think that I'll be at an advantage just having figured out maybe more of what I want to do. But just meeting people and, and asking them, you know, what, what have you experienced that, that's made your practice successful? How do you balance life and work? Um, just taking any opportunity you can, going to the social activities, um, going to the, the partner lunches, um, everything to meet more people and just try and uh, meet as many people in the firm as you can because then it'll give you a good idea if that's what you want to do and if these are the people you want to work with.